Hi everyone, this is Gurpreet from Data with Canvas and today we are going to learn how to create a waterfall chart in Tableau. Waterfall chart is a common type of visualization where we show accumulative positive and negative effects on a certain measure across a certain axis. It can either be a categorical axis or a time series axis. As you can see in this chart, we are showing the accumulative positive and accumulative negatives for a profit measure across the time series. We can also do it across the categorical axis. As you can see here, we are showing the same profit measures across the categories. And how we can create this chart? So let's get started with a blank workbook. First of all, we would like to connect to the data source. So I will just click on the connect to data source and select Excel as a data source. I have already created a data set here, which I will show you in a second. So it will look something like this, where we have date, state, product categories, sales, market expense, operational expense, and profit. So you can either create it by yourself, or if you have any particular data set, you can use that as well. And let's go to the sheet. So in this case, I would like to see the accumulative positive and negative of profit across time series. So first of all, we would like to bring date into the column axis. So there are two ways to bring it by left clicking it. And if you drag the column and uh, drag the date to the column shelf, it will by default give us the year of the date. And we have to select manually to go to the month. The other way is to right click and drag it to the column shelf. On the first screen, it will give us this panel where you can select the month directly. So it saves a few seconds, maybe less. And it's quite a handy tip, which I normally use for creating or dragging the date column whenever I want. So now we got the month of a date and we got the time axis. And I would like to bring profit into the row shelves. And you can see here a nice line chart, which shows the dips and spikes of profit across the time. So in this case, I will change the green pill and do a quick table calculation to get the running total for creating a waterfall chart. And once I got the running total, I will change the marks chart type to Kant bar. And you will see something like this. And then I would like to add profit measure into the size. And you will see here where the Gantt bar line was, the sum of profit values, it went up from there. I don't want to go up from that side. I want to say, see that that bar starts from zero and reached that point. So in that case, I will just edit this calculation in the shelf and change it to negative value. And you can see it here, the bar started from zero to that point of the profit. And then on this one, there are losses of $7, $7,177. So it's going down. So it's showing that this bar is only $141 above the zero axis, right? So that's what the profits are as of February 2014. So in order to do that, I will bring profit into the color mark shelf. And you will see something like this. And I will edit the colors to just have red and green where I will change the step size to two. And you can easily identify here the profits and the losses happening in which month. As you can see in the month of January 2014, we had the profit of $7,318. But in the month of February, there were loss of $7,177, which resulted in a total profit value as of that month was $141. And if you see at the end, you can see in the month of September 2016, our total aggregated profit as of that month was $15,449. So here you can see a nice trend. And if you see here for these four months, there was a continuous dip in the profit. So it's something we should look into as a nice trend and analytics where we need to understand why there were losses in those four months. So it's quite handy in that way. And you can do a bit of formatting here and personally prefer the month to be shown in this format where we are just showing the abbreviated values. 
So I will just say MMMYY and it's nice and clean. I will just edit the X's and I don't want to give the title here because it's self-explanatory and instead of running sum I will change it to just profits and in terms of lines I will remove the grid lines I don't want to see the grid lines and here you go it looks like this so that's based on our time series waterfall chart we will create a duplicate dashboard for this one um, and we will create a categorical access for the same and what we will do in this case instead of months we will bring the product category onto the column shell and we'll remove the months from there and you can see here by categories we are showing the profits by these three values like the baby clothing education there are not much profits in these categories whereas in the fresh food for nature and home decor the profit keeps on increasing then again it went down for pet care seasonal and specialty um, categories and then again toddler picked it up straight away so these categories you can sort it the way you want it so especially for financial dashboards you want expenses and costs to be aligned in that way so you can just go here and sort and you can decide to do the sorting manually where you can just drag drop and the way you want it so you can do that way in our financial dashboards so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this session and for such new tutorials please don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you.